Welcome to the Poster Design and Presentation Workshop, brought to you by the Honors College at the University of Illinois at Chicago. In this presentation, we will review information and best practices pertaining to designing and presenting your research poster. Where do you begin? You can take your first steps for creating a strong poster design and presentation by answering these three questions. What is the most important, interesting, or astounding finding from my research project? How can I visually share my research with conference attendees? That is, can I use charts, graphs, photos, and or images? What kind of information can I convey during my talk that will complement my poster? As you consider answers to these three questions, let's begin this workshop by considering the basic components of a strong poster design. The basic components of a poster design include a hypothesis, a topic summary or introduction, a literature review, data gathered, methods, findings, a so what section that explains the study's contribution, key references, and thank yous. Aspects of a strong poster design include zeroing in on your main point in a succinct way. Do not try to include everything from your project. Also, make sure that your title quickly and straightforwardly describes your project so that your audience knows what to expect. Similarly, make the subject and purpose of your poster as obvious as possible. All sections should be clearly laid out moving from top left to bottom right. Think of your project as a story you are telling. As such, all sections should build on each other and preferably be well known by you, the presenter, so that you can paint a picture to your viewer. You are aiming for elegance and logical cohesion. A strong poster design will help you achieve this in your presentation. A good poster is readable 6 to 10 feet away. It has a composition that is 20% text, 40% figures, and 40% space. Each section should be in complete sentences and fully developed but short. In other words, you cannot just copy and paste directly from your paper. You instead will need to be concise and summarize your paper. Text needs to be clear and to the point. To help visually organize your poster, use bullets, numbering, and headlines to make it easy to read. Make sure the images you use are relevant to your poster, and remember that graphics can be impactful. Also, maintain consistency in your color, font type, and spacing. What makes a good poster? Leave open space around your text boxes and images to make your poster easier to read. Organize your content from left to right, top to bottom as you would read it. Doing so will make for a consistent and clean layout. Avoid images that become blurry when you blow them up and to poster size by using high resolution images. You can test this by using the zoom feature on images within your poster template to see if pixelation is obvious up close. Be sure to include acknowledgments and references. Acknowledgments should be for people who helped you who are not co-authors, as well as any funding sources. References should be only your key sources, not every work you cited in the project. Be mindful of font size, color contrast, eye strain, and color blindness when creating your poster. Using red text is almost never a good idea. One resource for designing for color blindness can be found at the web address http colon forward slash forward slash blog dot usabilla dot com forward slash how hyphen to hyphen design hyphen for hyphen color hyphen blindness. Here are two examples of poster designs. Why is the poster on the left better than the poster on the right? I'll give you some time to consider.
For the poster on the left, images take up more space than text. This poster is also more colorful and more concise than the poster on the right. The poster on the left uses open spaces around sections, and the fonts are much better so that you could read it at a distance. Here is an example of a poster design layout that demonstrates the best practices we have reviewed. Notice the use of different clearly demarcated and titled sections. The box sizes in this example give you an idea of how much area to devote to each section. As such, the results section is the largest because your results are the most important part. On the other hand, the references and acknowledgement sections have the least space, so you will identify in each only the sources and people most important to your study. Visual aids go in any section, as long as they are relevant. They are more fun to look at and may convey information better, so don't be afraid to use them. And to help create further structure for your viewer, use bullet points and different font sizes. Notice that there is space between the boxes and there is space between the text and the box's edges. Avoid crowding. There are many poster design resources available on the internet should you be interested in learning more. Some of these resources provide poster templates which can be useful. The web addresses for three such resources are http colon forward slash forward slash guides.nyu.edu forward slash posters http colon forward slash forward slash www.craftofscientificposters Com, and https colon forward slash forward slash undergraduate research dot as dot ua dot edu forward slash presenting hyphen your hyphen work forward slash making hyphen posters forward slash Let's look at some real examples of student posters that demonstrate the best practices we have reviewed. When looking at the examples, notice what captures your eye initially, what information is displayed most successfully, how your eye moves across the poster to follow the story it tells, and what sections or information may be missing. We will spend about 15 seconds per example, but feel free to pause this presentation if you'd like to spend more time looking at each. The audio portion of this presentation will continue after the examples. In conclusion, remember to zero in on your main point. Remember to be concise in summarizing the essence of each section. Remember to use bullet points and have one section flow into the next. And remember to use graphs, figures, and or photographs to enhance your poster. Now that we have reviewed what makes for a good poster design, Let's spend some time thinking about what makes for a strong poster presentation. 
So what is a poster presentation event like anyway? Different departments, schools, and or colleges have poster presentation opportunities for their students. There are UIC opportunities open to all undergraduate majors, however. In the fall semester, UIC Impact and the UIC Honors College partner to offer Impact Day in the Honors College Research Symposium. At this event, a few dozen participants will give their poster presentation. In the spring semester, Impact Day and Research Day is a much larger event in which a few hundred participants present research. Any presentation opportunity will likely have judges who will include faculty, staff, and graduate students. And any event will have dozens to hundreds of visitors walking through and observing posters. In short, it is busy, loud, and exciting. There are important do's and don'ts to remember when presenting your poster. Let's review them. Do dress and behave professionally. Business casual is appropriate. Smile and make eye contact with interested individuals who approach your poster. Introduce yourself and your poster. Have a two to three minute talk ready that touches upon the basic components of your poster and that focuses on your results. Use your poster as a visual tool. Be excited about your research. Continue to make eye contact and engage poster viewers throughout your presentation. Ask if they have any questions at the end. Many likely will. Be ready with your contact information. Thank them for visiting your poster. On the other hand, do not stare at your poster during your presentation. Avoid eye contact or engagement with viewers. Read word for word your poster. Jump around from section to section in a confused and confusing manner. Rush through the presentation. Be unprepared for questions from a layperson that you can count on. Examples of this are, what does this word mean? So what? Tell me what you found out. Make stuff up if you don't know an answer. Ignore interested individuals because you are on your phone, talking to friends or fellow students, etc. Overall, make sure you are engaging, inviting, and enthusiastic about your project during your presentation. Get ready by practicing your presentation in front of friends or colleagues, using your poster as a visual tool. Solicit feedback and work on an elegant, seamless, and confident style. And be professional throughout the event itself. You may meet important people and make important connections. If you have any questions about poster design and presentation best practices, contact a faculty mentor or speak with your academic advisor. From the Honors College at the University of Illinois at Chicago, Good luck and enjoy your research journey.